we had some missionaries come to my church and I thought it would be kind of cool to be a missionary. So I wanted to see what it was like. The night before I was terrified. I had no idea what I was going into. I was a little scared. I didn't know if I'd fit in. I didn't know if I could really help. So I wasn't quite sure if this was my place. This would be, I believe, my 11th or 12th mission trip with three trips to New Orleans, Nashville, Galveston, Minot, New York, so, oh, Joplin, Missouri as well. We went there not knowing exactly what we were going to do. We helped rebuild the church. We're just taking down the siding of the building and we're replacing all the stuff that was there, all the waterproof sheets, and we're putting up insulation. I was part of the BBS crew, and I did the plays and the songs with Jeannie last year, and that started again this year. Mostly, uh, what I've been doing is cooking, mostly. I've chopped a lot of vegetables, <laughs> especially the onions. <laughs> the official team treasurer this time. It's been lots of fun, lots of energy, lots of excitement. Small. 13, 14 year old kids up to 75 year old retired seniors completely willing to give up their time and their money to go help out other people. This year we had six of our Presbyterian churches represented in the 33 participants. Auburn, Placerville, Celtic Cross, Davis, North Minister, and Grace. And it's always wonderful to see a group of young people come and and, and not just be enthusiastic because they're with their friends, but interested in the tonal poles, interested in the dancing, interested in the beach and the environment and everything else that's here. It's an excitement about introducing some of these young people to something so totally different than they are used to. It's an opportunity to see a different culture. We want to reach out to the youth and have them step out of their comfort zone and come to a place like Alaska or come to a place like New Orleans or Joplin, Missouri. And I've found interests that I never knew I had and I found that working with kids is just wonderful. I, I like this, this, um, this method of service, doing for others. And even in all the food prep, which I didn't realize would be a service to others, it's still necessary and needed. What this mission trip does is invite youth to step out of their comfort zone and do something that they never thought that they could do before. I've definitely changed. I feel like I've gotten closer to God. It's not only the, what you're doing with the community and the projects, but it's the relationships you build when you're doing it. It just makes me feel good to see all the children getting involved. Presbyterian is about the only church that brings people up that works around the community. They work outside of the Presbyterian church all over town. Going out and serving God and serving the community and serving people in need. I really do believe that we really have accomplished that this year just tremendously. I would love to do it all over again. And I'm, I wish we could stay longer. It's, it's definitely been something I've always wanted to do. I mean, honestly, I felt like I got closer to God on this trip entirely. My goal is to go on as many mission trips as possible. You get so much out of it, you don't even expect. I definitely will jump at the chance to go on a mission trip again. I would love to come back next year and do more trips like this in new places. When I think about faith, I don't think of a building. I don't think of some place I go on Sunday. I think about taking action and serving in my community, in my nation, and in my world. And these mission trips for me are a chance to serve and make that difference. That's how I'm going to live my life for the rest of this year, just thinking about coming back. We didn't like say goodbye. We said, we'll come back again. And it's like this unfinished thing that we needed to come back for.